Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, my name is Dean Fowl and I work with Hexagon and I'm a sales manager for the Radan products here. So, today's video, I wanted to show you about MRP Essentials. What is MRP Essentials? How can that help me? So, stick around, we'll be back after this break and we'll get straight into it. <music> guys so mrp essentials what is mrp essentials well basically it's a plugin that lives inside of radan right here and it is a link that will help you link your erp system mrp system into radan right so it'll make you it'll help you get the more out of your radan investment so what happens is an MRP, you've got your orders in there that you've quoted your customers. You can output a schedule as a CSV file and then the MRP, we can pull it up and we can find all those files, pull them in and create a nest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of clicks here, okay, and how we do that. So you can see I'm in my punching right now. I'm actually going to go <clears throat> excuse me and click on quick project within this quick project here you can see i have a drop down of different machines i'm going to go with my profile machine profile machine is what i consider a laser a plasma a water jet um even routers that just do x and y so you're not doing any type of millwright work um but here i can come in and give it a name okay so uh daf0012 and then i'm going to select the schedule file from that we outputted from the erp system so we'll make it a laser file that we've got here hit open okay so here's our first click here create it'll go ahead create a new project window it'll find those parts and pull them in okay so once we get to that stage here and it's pulled those parts in, I'm going to show you my next click, okay? Because in Radan, we're all about trying to do less clicking. So here I'm going to run the nester. Run that nester. That nester, you can see it's preparing to nest my parts. It's going to nest those parts on the sheets that's needed for the job. Um, it's actually going to do the laser tooling for that that nest it's going to sequence that nest and it's going to turn around and generate an nc code for that nest okay so let's go over why would you do this why would you want to try and do an erp system mrp system well some of the benefits are you know you can sort by material gauge thickness coming straight in you can actually um take out some human error right so um, with, without everybody typing in and inputting all these parts, you can sort of automate this process where it takes all that out of it. So less chance of human error. Um, you can get nest quicker to the guys on the floor. That means faster product delivery for you guys in the end, right? So I'm going to hit OK on that. You can see I've got my nest here. Everything's nested. Everything's good to go. And we did that all with a couple of clicks with the MRP uh, plugin. So <clears throat> once you've done that, you can come down and you can, maybe I want to do another one. We've got that job. We'll run our report, send it to the shop floor. Then we'll do another job. And I'm just going to show you how I do this for my punch machine. So we'll select our punch machine and we can give it a name, which is completely optional. DAF0203 and we can select our file that we've outputted from the ERP MRP system and I'm going to select that one and hit open and create. So now we're on our second nest of jobs for our guys to be running out of the shop floor because um, we may have a laser machine, we may have a punch machine so I might 
be programming the punch while they're running the laser and just jump all over like that if I wanted to. So here's all my parts listed in here. You can see the um, job order that I'm pulling in with, with the CSV file coming from the ERP system. You can see the material, the quantities. Um, so let's go ahead. Now we should be able to come in and run the nester on that. And it's going to do the same. I've got it here doing some automatic tooling. And then it's going to um, do the sequencing. Then it's going to generate the NC code. Okay. So while that does that, if you have any questions, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments below. We'll, we'll make sure we answer them. But if you're also interested in taking a look at this, um, leave me a message. Get in touch with me. I'll put you in touch with the right people. Or go to radan.com and you'll be able to get to the website and contact somebody that way or download the information you want to see about the MRP Essentials. Okay? So um, I've probably got another video that's probably a lot older than this one, but this here I'm working with Radan 2020 um, in, in, in this version of the software. So using that. All right, there we go. There's our jobs all done. Okay, <clears throat> so there's our punch job. Send the setup sheets out to the guys. The code's already sitting out there on the network. So MRP Essentials, you have an import manager. So the import manager is where you can give it a project name. Um, where, okay, Dean, and then you can um, add different files to it, right? Um, and go from there. So, me, I tend to take this way and just do a quick one. I, I, like, I like to do things quickly and automatically. Here we have etching where you want to be able to... Pro say your parts don't have the part number on them, you may want to etch that. You can process a part or you can process a whole project. So, when you process a whole project, it will go ahead and etch this or engrave it depending on what machine you're using. Um, if you don't want it on there because you want to save time and you just want to get the parts made without any etching, you can clear that off the project. But here is a good one here. We've got a watch folder so you can watch for files coming in from your ERP system and go that way as well. So, um, hey, thanks for watching. That's a breakdown of the MRP essentials. Like I said, go to radan.com and you'll be able to um, see information or get information. If you have any questions or comments, leave them on the YouTube channel. You can find me. If you want to connect up with me, go to uh, www.deanfowl.com and you'll, you'll see me over there as well. Okay, guys, have a great day and enjoy your weekend.